It's time for the MCTS experience with Mr. Orr and Mr. Nash. Discover your passion and unlock your future. Welcome, everybody, to another exciting episode of the MCTS Experience. Uh, I'm Mr. Orff. Uh, with me, as always, is my partner in crime, Mr. David Nash. How are you, sir? Hi. Uh, gr- great to see everyone, hear everyone. We're doing it to it this week. Or the, uh... Great week, great month um, uh, of November, of course. Uh, li- before we go any further, who are we leaving out? The great... The illustrious. <laughs> the legendary... Shining like new money. <laughs> legendary Nick MacGyver Sikowski. Nick, say hello, please. No, he's just wait now. Now he's going back. Yeah, you it's back him. to silent. He used to ah, it used geez. to be seeing audio silence. Now he waves, which is the equivalent of video silence. Okay, you can't fine. see him. You can't hear him. Okay. He's the phantom. Oh, look, oh he just grabs a mic. He getting tricky oh. on you. He's do it. Tricky do it again, Nick. Hey guys, how you doing? Woo! <laughs> that was a nice. That just shows you that uh, change is inevitable. That was a nice taste. Thank you, sir. We appreciate that. Um, Let's get going. Let's get going with this episode, Nash. Lock. We are having a, folks, this is a full episode, okay? We've got uh, we've got a, a student of the week. We have a featured guest. We have teacher tips. And there's, uh, a lot of, there's a lot going on. Action-packed MCTS experience for you. Uh, let's get started. A couple quick announcements before we get underway. Take me there. Um, first of all, there's uh, uh, two more info sessions this year uh, coming up. The first is um, a virtual info session on November 30th, 6 p.m., Check our website, check your email. You're going to get information about it. It's a simple link to a Google Meet. You jump right in. Um, And secondly, on uh, December 15th, uh, that's an in-person info session Mm -hmm. here at the Arthur R. Cypex Center. Um, That starts at 6 p.m. Okay. uh, As well, in person, 129 Bull Run Road. Please come. It's, It's a great way to get information. And 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 get the answers to the questions that you want. No brainer. You learn about every one of our programs. Yeah. What's then, up? And then and what's then up next? Something's returning. That's been part of the MCTS family. <sighs> Orf had, a, had a, added it on his Santa list, and we got it. It's the pancake breakfast. Yes. Yes. Engineered with obviously pancakes and bacon, all kinds of delicacies from our amazing culinary program. And Mr. Burtzall is going to have his poinsettias. He's going to have his wreath making. We're going to have a a photo station where you can take a holiday photo and it's going to be an awesome time. So great food, arts and crafts, picture making, picture taking. We're making it happen. Keep your eyes peeled for a mini episode about that uh, oh, specific I, event because we're going to have some of the teachers involved talking about it. Uh, Mr. Burtzall, Chef Engel, et cetera. And the coolest part is, is it's going to be on December 3rd, which is a Saturday. It's Saturday. What time? 830 to 1230. All right. Please show up for that. It's a it's a great time. It's also a great way to support your school and build community. Absolutely. Um, next, uh, this is we're very excited about this. It's National Apprenticeship Week. Uh, the dates of that week are November 14th to the 18th. Yep. Um, and in honor of National Apprenticeship Week, uh, we we not only got to tour Princeton Plasma Physics Lab, uh, but we have a very special featured guest, uh, former student. We'll keep we'll keep uh, keep the student a secret, but um, a great apprentice and a great you want to you want to hear this and, and go to our social media. Uh, check out the photos that we have from the tour. Oh yeah, I mean, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. It's, it'll blow your mind. It, you're going to think we're at a movie set in California. I promise you, this is real. This is live. It's in Plainsboro. They're trying to create a sustainable green energy, and that's that's not something that just came out in the last few years. It's been going on since the '50s, and it's right in our backyard. Yeah. And MCTS uh, students have access to that if they're you know if they want to apply to the apprenticeship program and if they want to get it going. And we have a a, a lion's share of apprentices in a lot of different positions. They're Very really, exciting. they're really all ours. It's awesome, dude. It's yeah. awesome. All right. Uh, and, and then, then the, the another thing, I don't know if it's the final, but we have the comedy night and, and a shout out to Alex McCarsky, McCarsky, Alex McCarsky. Yeah. Who, who did a phenomenal job at our talent show, which spawned the Genesis of our uh, comedy night, which is, uh, it's November 29th, 7 PM. Anybody can sign up. You have to sign up. Very, very important. MCTS dot teacher coach dot com again mcts dot teacher coach dot com it's online only sign up online only sign up this is through our district wide pd uh but it's also open to the entire community correct um and and you can tune in and hear hear some really fun comedy it's a whole group of different comedians um look for more information about that as well on our website mcts.edu or yes sign up at uh, mcts dot teacher coach dot com i love it home run Um, We'll be right back with our student of the week after this. And now it's time for student of the week. 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have a very, very uh, exciting uh, student of the week for you, one we're very, very proud of. Um, please let me introduce uh, Patrick Crome. Pat, you like to be called Pat. Yeah. How are you, Pat? I'm doing well. How are you? Fantastic. Glad to, glad to have you with us on the, uh, on the, a, on the a podcast. C a CIE co-op internship shining star. Pat is the trifecta, if you don't, if you don't mind me saying. Absolutely. He is, he is a, a gold star, whatever you want to call it. We can hold him up as like, this is everything that you can accomplish with Mercer County Technical Schools. So first, where are you working on CIE? Uh, I work at Compact Cars out in Millstone. Yes. Um, yeah. Amazing high-end body shop mm -hmm. right by the Jackson Outlets. Okay. Great adventure right off 95. Okay. Super awesome high-end mm -hmm. body shop. Mercedes, Ferrari. Uh, everyday cars, Teslas, everything. Yeah. You name it, they do it. But they also are really, they're gifted and talented craftsmen mm -hmm. working there. Extremely, yeah. And and you've been there just, just since September? Or is no, this I, I started on two days before the last day of school and I sort of skipped my two, last two days of school to go work there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, which is the key is, is if a guy or girl is, is super talented, we like to see them work junior summer. Not, not And again, not just work, but immerse themselves in a career area mm -hmm. yeah. in the summer. Yeah. And then uh, we're going to come back to compact cars in just a second, uh, Pat. But so tell us about your, tell us about you. You've got some great news. You just, you just won something and we're, we're really excited to tell uh, the folks at home about it. So, so go ahead. So, yeah, I, I won the, uh, the Russ Robeson uh, Memorial Scholarship uh, for, it's like a uh, up and coming uh, body shop tech. Okay. Um, wow. You know, I was awarded that and it's, Pretty special. That is. It and, is. And there's and there's well over a uh, couple hundred body shops that belong to that organization. Yeah. A A A S P. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh the the Association for Automotive Service, Service Providers. providers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. And and so this is this is something that I heard from your instructor, Mr. McKinney. Shout out to Mr. McKinney. Hello. Thank you, sir. Um this is not something that you submitted yourself for. This no, the the owner of my shop actually submitted it, and then and then told me like a couple of days after, and he was like, <laughs> like, hey, we just submitted you for well, some scholarship, and thing. and you got it. Yeah, I was I was pretty excited to hear big, that. Big I big awards dinner, mm -hmm. check award, the whole deal. They yeah. big is it the big f foam check? Is it one of those things? No, they handed it to me in an envelope. <laughs> but it, was, it was still pretty special. But, yeah, but I love what I love about it is, it's not like you're it's your senior year and you're graduating. You were a rising senior and, and they saw such promise, mm -hmm. such ability that they're like, this guy's, we, this guy's amazing. Yeah. We want to nominate him. And that wasn't holding you back. The fact that you weren't even graduating, you were entering your senior year and it's still, mm -hmm. doing you, well. you work there all summer. Yeah. Okay. Um, what is this like for, I mean, you must, Pat, you must love this. You must, you must see yourself doing this for a living. I enjoy it a lot. I mean, I've, I'm not a huge, like in the classroom student. Um, I, I focused more on like using my brain and, you know, touching stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm so glad you yeah. said that. It used to be in the seventies and the eighties and nineties. It's like, oh, he's really good with his hands or she's mm -hmm. really good with her hands. I, I, we've adapted that into it's your, your mind, your, your brain, your intelligence connected with your body is actually executing the task. And especially with the cars that you're working on. I was just there for a site visit. What, uh, Monday or Tuesday? Yeah, Monday. And, uh. You're, you're working on cars that are unreal. And it's not like he's standing back watching somebody. I walked in, you were doing a bumper skin or, or you were on the back, you were on the back side of the car yeah. and your classmate was working on a bumper skin. Mm -hmm. I mean, real work. It's incredible. Yeah. And, and I guess this is a, as, as you said, a high end place. Also, uh, Pat, tell us, tell us what they're, what, what's going to happen next for you with compact cars and for your post-graduation plans. Well, um, right now I'm, I'm trying to get platinum certified for iCar. Um, and once I get that, I'll be eligible to go to Porsche training down in uh, Atlanta. Um, and then I think when I turn 18, I'll be eligible for Mercedes Benz training, which, and the place is right in Robbinsville in the, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Amazon warehouse. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Right okay. Okay. yeah. But that's going to cost you a ton of money, isn't it? The shop, shop covers it all. Compact cars is going to pay for you to go and do this. They're going to fly yes. you down to Georgia. You're going to set you up in a hotel. You're going to go through the schooling. Yeah. You know, you see the my, my God, that's, that's absolutely amazing. So no debt, doing what you love. Mm-hmm. And passionate and, and just keep unlocking doors of opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Pat, I want to say you, you must be uh, good at this, great at this, and also a, a really, really great person uh, to have these people going out of their way to, uh, to pave this way for you. I, I want to say on behalf of the whole school, congratulations. We're really lucky to have you here. Thank you. Awesome. Proud of you, buddy. Thank you. That means a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, Patch, by the way, Chrome, 
Patrick Chrome. How fitting. The greatest name for an auto collision specialist on earth. Hello. How fitting. Oh my gosh. Um, on that note, uh, congratulations once again. Uh, Pat Chrome, your student of the week. Hey, you, come here. Come here. Check it out. They're in our school. They're in our community. They're around the corner. Welcome, our featured guest. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are wrapping up National Apprenticeship Week. And in honor of that week, uh, Mr. Nash and myself, Ryan Hamer and Lisa Gerstacker from our adult evening school all got to visit a place where we have a, a ton of apprentices. Um, from, from Mercer County Technical Schools, from Mercer County adult Technical evening schools, schools all the of the adult evening and uh, the high school programs. Career. Um, that, that place, of course, is Princeton Plasma Physics Lab. And we're going to talk, we're going to talk a lot about that program. But best of all, for our featured guest, Ladies we, and gentlemen, children of all ages. One of the all-time greats from our uh, Building Trades program. Uh, we're pleased to have on the line with us, uh, Sheehan Toomey. Sheehan, how are you? Good. Uh, nice to talk to you, Mr. Orff. Hello there, Mr. Nash, and hi to everyone else on the line. Awesome. Home run, Sheehan. Great great to hear your voice and, and great to see you today. So, so um, Sheehan gave a, an amazing presentation about uh, some of the things that he does at PPPL. Um, and we got to see a couple of a uh, couple of former students there. Uh, Absolutely. Robert Bongiovanni and uh, Russell Gutter. Yep. Russ the Cuss. Um, yep. Uh, Sheehan, you have also done stuff for our school. You've gone and spoken at, at state uh, meetings and things of that nature. Uh, do you remember? And that was while you were still in high school, right? That's correct. Yeah, that was a few years ago now. Um, those speakings that I have done for the <laughs> tech school, they've set me up pretty well to um, give <clears> – <throat> people like yourself and Mr. Nash, a good understanding of what goes on here at the lab. Uh, the tour, the tours that we do are a taste of public speaking. And I, yeah, I think some of the other speakings I've done at, um, state houses, yeah, they set me up well to, to give you guys a spiel about what goes on here. I, Go ahead. Nash. No, I was just going to say, I, I love how you segued into the fact that tell our listeners just in a two to three, five sentences, whatever it takes you to do, what happens at PPPL and, and how are you involved with the just the the operations of it? Just to get, uh, update everyone. Yeah. Um, so here at the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory, uh, our mission is to create a sustainable energy source from a fusion nuclear reaction. Um, this nuclear reaction is almost entirely uh, environmentally safe. It doesn't have any of the conventional um, poisonous or Our radioactive products. materials mm -hmm. that are associated with uh, nuclear energy. Um, so we have a, a pretty powerful opportunity here. Um, the world is sort of in an energy crisis, and we're trying to solve that. Um, That's awesome. Not being a physicist and just uh, having experience in the trades. Um, I don't work too heavy in the uh, complicated physics that go into the experiments here, but um, having a technical background and um, a, a brain that, you know, problem solves and, and critically thinks, uh, I work on some of the subsystems that support this nuclear experiment. It's for anyone that has never seen or been, do yourself a favor if you're listening, go, go to the website, Prince of Positive Physics, do a Google search. There's automated videos. It's, I mean, you have something there, Sheehan. And again, it's every day you've gone there. You're in your fourth year apprenticeship. We're going to talk a lot more about that. But the the, the mechanism that does this is almost something out of a – it is out of a science fiction movie. It's incredible. It looks fake. I mean, it looks yes, like something it's a out movie of a set. science fiction movie. And I never felt so dumb in my entire life as, <laughs> as walking around that place today. It, it, it's unreal. We'll, post, uh, we'll get uh, producer Nick to post some photos from yeah, our yeah. tour today. Uh, check out our social media post uh, today. Um, yes. Uh, for for uh, lots of pictures from today, including including pictures of uh, of our, our apprentices, uh, including Sheehan. Um, so so Sheehan, if you don't mind, just go back in time a little bit. It wasn't that long ago that you were a, a student in our in our building trades class. Um, then uh, you worked for us in the summer. Um, you were framing houses, I think. Uh, uh, when they yeah, you were when you they were, found you. you. You were a work work based learning. Uh, student senior year for Flansburg Construction. I'll never forget it. That's, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, it feels like yesterday that I was employed by Flansburg. Like you said, framing houses, uh, doing pretty rough and grunt carpentry work. Um, through the tech school, I evolved from that rough and grunt work uh, from carpentry into electrical trades. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually found out about the laboratory 
from a, a presentation that oh, one yeah. of these science education um, Sh- individuals. Sh- Shannon, Sh- Shannon, Shannon, Greco came, uh, Absolutely. came to our yeah. school. Yeah. Shannon Greco came. And as a matter of fact, I was happily employed uh, with the residential electrician um, that I was working for. I actually, oh, yeah, that's really right. want- you did that the, <laughs> the, the, the absolute last fourth marking period, you senior. Oh my gosh. It's it, uh, I'm sorry. The, the fog's lifting from my brain. I just worked with so many kids. I'm he's, sorry to interrupt you. Excited. <laughs> uh, I forgot that you worked for yeah. an electrician too. Keep going. Keep Please going. Continue, Shannon. Yeah. Um, it's actually ironic. I wasn't really supposed to be at the tech school the day that Shannon was doing that presentation. Uh, and even though I was there, uh, being so happily employed with, you know, who I was working for, I, I didn't really even want to go to the presentation. I thought, well, wow. I have it pretty good. How, how good could it really get? Um, <laughs> and it goes to show you, you know, don't ever turn down opportunities that are presented to, to you, especially, you know, if the tech school puts them in front of you, you don't have to pay for them. All you have to do is show up. So wow. go to those presentations, go to those meetings, expose yourself to some stuff and, and that's what I did. And it has opened up some really incredible doors for me. Wow. Um, that's, that's phenomenal. So, all right. So you, you, you in, uh, applied to the pre-apprenticeship program as it goes, and it was for an, uh, an electrical, uh, technician or a mechanic. What's the actual specific apprenticeship that you obtained through Prince and Plasma Physics? Yeah. So I'm enrolled uh, or registered into an electrical apprenticeship. And like you said, that starts out with a pre-apprenticeship. Um, that pre-apprenticeship is something that is unique to this program. A lot of formal apprenticeships don't have that sort of trial period. Mm-hmm. Um, but here at the lab, we give the opportunity for apprentices like myself to get a feel, you know, if, is this somewhere where you think that you would excel? <laughs> um, and then also it, it gives a chance for, um, you know, everyone here to see, you know, would you fit well into our group? And it gives you a chance to see if, if you think that you would fit well into the group. Um, so you have a, a bit of a trial period, which is nice because apprenticeships are committing. Um, of, of course, you could stop them at any time, but they're structured so that you come, you know, you're going to complete four years of on the job training and related technical instruction classroom hours, um, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. So it's not, it's not just, gonna, it's, it, it's a two way street. And, yeah, and the expectation is you're going to go all the way. I, you know? I loved what, uh, Diana, uh, Adele said, she's the, the liaison of the program today. They did a little outreach and I'm, I'm not stopping you at all. She is, she said, you know, a, a lot of times the department of labor, uh, apprenticeship, uh, journeyman papers that are issued, uh, a, it proves that someone dedicated themselves to a career based position of learning. In addition to the thousands of classroom hours and the thousands of career based learning, this is not a job. This is something you debt. I mean, you immerse yourself. I mean, you're in a, a fusion lab. It's, it's, it's insane. It looks like a net. Na- it's like, looks like a movie set. I really can't begin to even no, say no, that really even does. more, but you're there every day, immersing yourself into this process. It's so powerful. So this internship and oh, pardon me, this uh, apprenticeship is so powerful and real and tangible. And I, I think she and uh, uh, I don't want to I don't want to jump the gun here, but but this is your last like you're in the fourth year of it. You're you're about to embark on uh, being a, a full fledged employee and getting a, a, a very meaningful uh, jump in in pay. And, yeah. And the rest. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, that's absolutely correct. I'm in my fourth year of the apprenticeship. Um, so, I you know, I still have around a year left to complete the fourth year and then I will have satisfied all of those. Uh, on the job training hours. And I've actually already completed my related technical instruction requirements. So I'm pursuing a a two year college degree, uh, sort of in parallel with this apprenticeship. Um, Wow, you know, you want to you want to make yourself as valuable as you can, as you can, you know, no matter what employer you're with. Did you give Um, Sheehan $20 to say that? Mr. Did you? (laughs) uh, And and Sheehan is no stranger to hard work. Uh, In addition to working the whole time he was in high school. So through this program, you've been going to our adult evening school uh, through through the apprenticeship to get uh, uh, various different, uh, certifications and trainings, right? Well, uh, welding, some of them are going to which, blueprint, blueprint. Re- yeah, yeah. We're just naming ones. Which ones did you go to? You obviously had all the basic electrical, I would assume blueprint reading, technical math, uh, share with our listeners. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I have gone through all of the electrical classes that other electrical apprentices uh, would take for their apprenticeships. Um, 
the laboratory has a, a special circumstance here. You know, we don't necessarily use all of the um, relevant material that is taught in those classes. So some of those classes are substituted mm -hmm. with other courses that are more uh, related to our day to day work here. Interesting. Um, so principles so of physics has the ability to articulate what classes you need to and the content in there. Wow. Talk about a specialized education. Powerful. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah absolutely. Um, I've taken some electronic courses across the street at Mercer County College. Um, and then to be totally honest, school, working at a place like um, PPPL, working around such specialized equipment and working with such intelligent people. Um, I got to be honest, I do a lot of my learning here. At, yes. Uh, yeah. I would love that. On the job. Absolutely. Um, and, and this so, four years must, I'm sorry to interrupt you, must have been like, think about a lot of other uh, uh, people, Sheehan's age. They're going to a, they're going to a four year school. They're paying 50, 60 grand a year to do it. Yeah. What did this, and, tell and, our listeners, what did this cost you, Sheehan? Yeah. Well, um, it hasn't cost me a dime. As a matter of fact, <laughs> it, it, uh, I'm actually getting paid for this whole process, which is hard to believe. Yeah, um, especially when you preface it with, right. Other kids my age are paying, um, copious amounts of money for a degree that they're not really certain they're going to use or whether they're even passionate about it. Mm. Um, that's something really unique towards an apprenticeship, especially the pre-apprenticeship here, right? It gives you a chance to see if this is a field that you even want to be in. And if it is, it gives you an avenue to set yourself up for a very successful career without drowning yourself in debt. Oh my gosh. So, I mean, I'm not sure how anyone could look at this opportunity and say anything bad about it. There's really only good things to come from this. Well, you you hit the you hit the points. You 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 try out a different. There was a couple of different roles you tried out in the pre apprenticeship, and you you felt something come alive in you, and you were magnetized to it. And then the history writes itself. And you know that's really the essence of any person's career path. And and you, Sheehan, you'll have three to five careers in your adult life. And uh, we're excited that you you were able to embark on this one. It just so happened to be in through an indirect correct connection of MCTS. But since it is National Apprenticeship Week, it, it's it works perfectly together to share with our listeners and maybe inspire a young guy or girl that was like, "Wow, I'm not too sure what I want to study or what I want to go to college for." But this sounds interesting, and that's what we hope people hear and sense out of this broadcast. Yeah, it's a it's a great way to wrap up uh, uh, National Apprenticeship Week, and and, and she and to to hear the to hear the folks at Princeton Plasma Physics Lab talk about you uh, and all the other apprentices there. Like the, you guys are you guys are doing important work, and it, it, it yeah, sounds like it's, you're the, the lifeblood of the place. It's really unique. So congratulations, she and we couldn't be more proud of you. Really, thank you both. Thank you both. I appreciate it. Keep up, um, keep up you the know, good work and keep in touch with us. Go ahead. I'm I'm still a student, so students don't get anywhere without their teachers. So <laughs> I, of course I put in the work, but you guys have you guys have set me up for success. Uh, to other individuals that are out there, put yourself in a position to be set up for success. Don't shy away from it. Don't you know turn a shoulder towards it. Uh, take those opportunities. Go to those meetings. Listen to the people that want to help you, and and good things will come from it. You know you don't have to be at the Princeton Plasma Physics Lab to have a successful career. So. You know, take every opportunity you're given. Awesome. Great, great advice from a from a very wise, uh, very wise young man. Um, she and Toomey, uh, thanks for being our featured guest and, and for all the great work that you do. Keep it up and uh, uh, hope to talk to you again very soon. Will do. Mr. Orff, Mr. Nash, thanks for having me. Bye-bye. We'll be right back after this. We don't stop learning after the bell rings. Guess what? It's time for teacher tips. Welcome back, everybody. We have a very, very special edition of, uh, of Teacher Tips tonight. Um, we have uh, uh, two teachers with us. Um, I'm very, very pleased to introduce from our STEM Academy. Uh, on my right is uh, Sam Chilkatowski, STEM instructor. And on Mr. Nash's left is Adam Kovitz, also STEM instructor. Um, these two guys are, are professional engineers, were professional engineers, and now they're outstanding educators. Um, but Dynamos. beyond that, Dynamos. Dynamos. Cracker Jacks. Mm -hmm. um, so, so before we get into the teacher tips, I'm doing all the talking. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, please say hello, Mr. Kovitz. 
Hi, everybody. <laughs> Mr. C. Good morning. All right. There we go. Um, so so um, in any case, before we get started with the teacher tip, um, I want to I want to make a very nice announcement uh, on behalf of all of us at MCTS. Um, our STEM Academy was named the 36th best high school in the state, in the state of New Jersey. That's powerful. Um, and that's not out of like 40 or 45 schools. That's out of uh, 405 schools or something like that. Wow. It's a big number. Oh. Um, that is a testament uh, to to these two teachers, the academic teachers at the STEM Academy, and really all of the teachers uh, throughout Support the district. Even, uh, oh. Right, right the MCTS from family. shared time instructors, instructors from the other academies. Uh, we all come together to make the the climate here a good place, and I think that enables our our students to learn better. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so let's let's get going with our with our teacher tip, Mr. Kovitz. Uh, yeah. So. Um one of the things that um, we uh, attempt to encourage with our students is the idea that um, uh, our our kids are are fallible, right? Human being, we're human beings. Uh, even even Sam and I are are fallible. We make mistakes too, uh, but we work together in teams and we catch each other uh, and we work together to try and uh, deliver different perspectives towards um, a greater product. So is that something that's commonly found in the engineering field based on what you're sharing? Yeah, with it, it, it's, it's not just commonly found. It's, it's, it's a 21st century survival tactic. Mm. Uh, if, if you want to play, it's not just engineering. It's, 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 it's IT. It's, 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 it's any job really, but um, you see it a lot. I, I worked on, a, uh, on an IT software development team with people from it was like the United Nations. I had people from different countries. They spoke different languages, but we all worked together and we delivered products for our client. And sometimes it, it worked, sometimes it didn't. You had to be comfortable with it not working, I would assume. Well, uh, we had to be comfortable with our with our own thinking not working mm -hmm. and being willing, able to challenge each other and ourselves to um, to constantly develop uh, something better that's going to be ultimately a better product for not just for our, our clients of today, but for the ones of the future. Love it. Absolutely. Mr. C, do you have like an example of this, uh, whether it's something from learning when you make a mistake or, or an educational thing or from your career? Uh, sure. Um, for our freshmen, when we bring them in, actually, one of the first things we have them do is uh, attempt a challenge where they fail. And it's something that it, emotionally it can be a little bit difficult to deal with. And awesome. uh, it's it has to happen inside. There's no amount of preparation that we can give you. There's nothing that we can tell you that will prepare you to be able to resolve those emotions and be able to handle it. You just have to go through the experience. So uh, we start them off gently and, and we give them something to do and they try at it and maybe 10% of them are successful. And wow. uh, so that shows that it's possible. Yeah. But most of the time they're just they're failing and they're trying again, and that and getting comfortable problems. with that emotion. I'm I'm listening to that I'm imagining of what you guys have experienced for years and watching them go through that. Oh yeah, yeah, and some of them it's uh it's mm. the end it's of the world where they sit there and they they have a, a emotional breakdown almost where they're just they yeah. have to resolve yeah. it and we, we say okay now all those feelings now. You got a hundred on the assignment because you did everything that we expected you to do. So nice. The fact that it didn't work as well as it should. Well, that's something that we can go back and try again. And uh, that leads into the iterative process of engineering. There it's not just a single exactly. thing. It's over and over again. We're following a process. We're going through a series of steps. We're evaluating how well we're doing at what we're doing. And then at the end, we do it again. So, okay, now this time we're going to do it a little bit better. Yeah. Well, and the whole idea is that in the process of failing, the faster and the safer we feel about it, uh, th there's such a stigma put on this idea of failing, right? So the faster we fail and the safer we make it for the students to fail safely, right? Yes. Um, the faster we make that happen, the faster they learn and the faster they get on board with uh, the professionalism aspect that we teach to our students. So they can shift from that paradigm of that's something that's not normal to something that's a required part of your industry. Well, we, we, I think that's one of the things that separates us from a traditional high school. We are here not just to give them the academics, not just to give them the hands-on skill building, but to give them that sense of professionalism such that mm -hmm. when we embed them with a company like Van Cleef Engineering, right, they love to bring our students back and to keep our students constantly hired because they know that they're getting a good product. They've been sort of vetted through our process and they understand 
how to work in a regular environment, in a regular professional environment. I've worked in the professional environment for over 20 years. So that's one of the things I'm very Mm -hmm. passionate about, having our kids be ready to hit the ground running the moment that they get on the job site. Because the job site actually begins here. The moment they walk through the doors, they're on the job. Preparing them for life, building resilience. Teacher, that's a heck of that's a heck of a teacher tip. Uh, thanks, Mr. Kovitz. Sure. Thanks, Mr. Chilkatowski. Um, and thanks all of you. We'll be right back after this. Nash, each episode of the MCTS experience, just for me personally, is like a satisfying meal. I feel good. I feel satiated. I feel like I learned. I'm a I, better man. I love the momentum that we build and and how you see the year developing. And we can just see that this, the guests, the the of the awards from Patrick Chrome, everything about yeah, this, yeah. this district is just rolling, and uh, it's it's a pleasure to be a part of. It, it's like it's like a, a momentum. It's a great it's a it's great like word they just use. <laughs> Speaking of Thanksgiving, students don't come to school uh, Thursday or Friday next week. We're giving you those days off. A little um, something, a little something from Mr. Orff. Mr. Orff put that into play for you. you take it. Enjoy. Nice. Very nice. Um. Uh. In fact, everybody take off ah! two days. <laughs> <laughs> like there I have anything go. to do with it. I'm go. just kidding, of course. Um, yeah, so Thanksgiving break, of course, is Thursday uh, uh, Thursday and Friday of next week. And sure. then we have the weekend after that. So recover, digest your uh, your turkey or whatever it is you're eating on those days. Um, Got to give a few shout outs to uh, our friends at Princeton Plasma Physics Lab. Thanks for a great day, uh, for great apprenticeships for all of those students. Um, and, a, and a very, very nice time today. Informative, a little uh, intimidating and uh, and fun. It was awesome. It was a great experience, as you guys learned about Saul and you'll view on our social media. Uh, and then we got, you know, Patrick Chrome and, and the amazing award that he was able to earn for himself. And, you know, just another declaration of the programs that we offer here can make an impact, a meaningful impact on somebody's career life. Yes. Um, thanks to Sheehan Toomey, of course, uh, for for uh, uh, the tour today and uh, uh, coming on the podcast with us, being a great featured guest. Um, of course, our two STEM instructors, uh, Adam Kovitz and Sam Chilkatowski all of the teachers in the STEM Academy, and frankly, Nash, all of our teachers uh, at both of our buildings, uh, ask them against SIPAC. Um, it really is the school climate. It really is all of them They're coming together. To now we're really to- starting to see momentum within the class, and, and it really is. It, yeah. it, it, you know, you think back two months ago, it was Labor Day, and now we're heading into Thanksgiving and, and so on. So the wheels the wheels are really moving now. Uh, the train is way out of oh, the station, awesome. and it's chugging you, have along. You, have you had yet students begging you share time students begging you to stay all day have you you, had that? you asked me about this i think on the first podcast of the year yes. you said you said we did an over under right yes and and you gave me a you gave me a date of october 15th i took the under yes. Do you recall this yes rewind and watch that episode it uh, happened um and uh i know uh, it happened I, yeah who do you think won the bet I think you did. I, I bet you. I bet you by October first, kids were saying, "Can I stay here?" That's exactly right. It was. It was easily before October fifteenth. Probably more like the last week in September, first week in October. Well, like they, they come alive, they find their passion. Yeah. And that's what we heard when when we did took the tour and we heard from all the apprentices. In addition, not only PPPL, uh, there's other apprentices and uh, apprenticeships to Department of Labor registered that are served by the MCTS family. Oh, oh my well, gosh. we know that. We know that. Yeah, yeah. This is one featured one, but it's a it's a long, long list. And and that is just uh, uh, evidence that, yes, magic happens here, but it keeps on happening after you after you leave our, our roof. I think she had really opened that up. Yeah, his discussion. Absolutely. Um, congrats to everybody. Have a great Thanksgiving. Um, Nash MacGyver. I am thankful for both of you. And uh, hey, big shout out to the Titusville crew. Hey, oh, yes, we have to do this to our friends from the Titusville Academy. Actual specific shout out to you. Um, glad you got in here. Uh, glad you got Thanks to see for the great studio. Kids. You guys, it was awesome. They, yeah, they yeah. toured the studio. They loved it. It was very cool. We had a great time. All right. So um, on behalf of myself, uh, my partner in crime, Mr. Dave Nash, and the legendary Nick MacGyver Sikowski, uh, this is Mr. Orf inviting, reminding you first to like oh, us. You are- I almost forgot to like us on Facebook, uh, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, TikTok and uh, share this podcast with a friend. It's available on Google Play, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon. That's got to be it. Check out our Orf YouTube will, channel. If you share this and watch it and listen, Orf will come to your house in a Christmas Santa suit and and give away free presents. Let's not make any promises we can't keep. I'm I'm uh, I, I am starting to be able to fill out a Santa suit though. Let's stop. let's be honest. Uh, last but not least, do do check out uh, teachercoach.com, mcts.teachercoach.com. Yes. yes. Um, for the great comedy night. And in, until then. Until we see you on the next episode, this is Mr. Orff uh, inviting you to discover your passion. And unlock your future!